What is up, YouTube? What up, YouTube? Video today, acceleration. Uh, acceleration, how fast can I accelerate? How, what is my acceleration? How do I accelerate? Should I drag my toe? Should I not drag my toe? All these wonderful things that we discuss. And if you get on YouTube, you see project, push. The first three steps should be this. You know, the first step should be quick. The first step should be long. You should be doing all these things that athletes take especially young athletes take and they say how do i how do i understand this so they go out there and they try it they may think it feels good or it feels fast and none of that um they it, then let's just say they go out and they run their race and they realize well i didn't get any faster because acceleration my i tried this new technique now let's try to back up and unpack some things and hopefully um i can relate it to some life Things. That's what conscious athlete, this was a conscious, this is what conscious athlete is about. Let's just start with the idea of accelerating. Why, why is it important? It's important because you need to be able to accelerate to get to top end speed. And I I've, I would always tell the athletes, especially the, I'm um, definitely the young athletes. I'm like, you're not accelerating. So it's pretty much hard to reach top end. You know, a lot of athletes, you know, are afraid to project. That's hard to teach when an athlete is afraid to project but here's what i stopped trying to do and explain to the kids and stop trying to beat it in their heads i stopped trying to tell them to project i stopped trying to tell them to keep their head down that was hold on i stopped trying to tell them to keep their head down because when they do their head down, they forget that the shoulders go that way. So you stop saying head down and then you say lean with the shoulders. Then you do the thing on the fence where you're teaching them driving through the hips. Some athletes get it, some don't. Um, there's so many, so many things out there and it, and it gets honestly extremely confusing and frustrating. Not as um, definitely as a coach, but you can obviously honestly see it in the athletes when they get frustrated. So. Let's just back up and let's discuss what's important about becoming a good sprinter or becoming a good runner in general. If we go back to uh, Safa Powell's world record video that's on the screen, we look at this like, oh, my God, he's moving so fast. But here's the amazing thing about, you know, when you watch that video, we don't perceive because we're not down there next to the track how much force he's applying into the ground. Yeah, we can look at the science or the ones who understand it and can look at the science and say his first three steps were so powerful and his angle and I believe it's Safa Powell's 6'2 or 6'3. He's not a sh small or short man, but he had he's one of my favorite runners. Probably, no, I can say it. He is my favorite sprinter to watch. Um, he's retired, recently retired, but if I wanted to watch... Anything on sprinting, I would always revert back to Safa Powell's video of, um, I believe when he ran like 974, I think that race was, and he slowed down 10 meters out. But his acceleration was so good in that race. It was just phenomenal. But anyway, as I'm using a Safa Powell, that is an elite athlete. That is a extremely elite athlete. Has the most um, races, hundred meter races under 10 seconds. I don't remember if it's 98 or 99, but either way, it's a lot. And I don't know, I believe um, people assume it could be bolt or whatever, but I don't think anybody's even within 30 races of that. Um, I could be wrong, but whatever. But I wanted to talk about when it comes to acceleration is what I try to focus on when it comes to my athletes, it's just stiffness, learning how to be stiff. And you say, wait, you just tell them to be stiff. No, I teach them through many other drills, many other things um, like um, double leg hops, just regular bunny hops, working on the Keeley strength. Because if we look back at the races of any elite athlete, male or female, we don't really perceive or talk about enough the stiffness they have in joints, stiffness they have maybe when they're striking the ground. There's a lot of young athletes that collapse and they say, well, I'm trying to do it this way or I saw this video. 
And really what we're, what we should be focusing on, especially for young athletes is, um, leg stiffness, um, plyometrics, uh, jumping, doing hurdle hops, uh, learning how to, or le- knowing what it is to strengthen, you know, a, a calf or Achilles, because most of the things are the, the elite athletes, if you want to be elite, and I'm talking about football players as well, to run at a, at a, to run fast, let's just say, to run fast, there has to be a level of stiffness. And doing um, full squats or half, uh, going halfway to squats, um, halfway down in squat, I can't say it won't build stiffness, but it definitely will help develop. Um, let's say the a lot of what I do, especially in season, and, and I know it, I do it pretty much year round um, with the boys or athletes that I'm coaching. We do quarter squats. And it's pretty much just that far. We don't work past. And you can obviously they can apply. You can you can put more weight on the bar and you can have them understand, you know, that's the force you need to be putting into the ground through different drills, through different exercises or. um, Yeah, exercises and drills. So let's try to wrap this all together and, and see if we can make this make sense and bring some consciousness to it. Like I try to always do to run fast. To accelerate, there needs to be a level of stiffness in the Achilles to push in off the blocks. In life, I believe it's the same thing. You know, to start in life, um, I was talking to a, a person a couple of weeks ago. We were, uh, my, my vehicle is a six speed manual transmission. And I was like, hey, you f- the hardest is getting from first to second. You know, once you get to third and fourth, um, driving us, the manual is pretty easy or it becomes easy. And she was explaining some of the things or the tricks that people were telling or sharing with her. And I said, doesn't that sound like life? And she kind of laughed and she was like, yeah, it does. I was like, you know, acceleration is gear one, you know, well, getting out of gear one, going to gear two, Um, pushing out the blocks, gear one, understanding how to, you know, gradually like a plane rise and all those things. As you're understanding how to accelerate there's really can't be a complete understanding until you understand the the until your body develops the stiffness to be able to apply the pressure that you know that will make you faster so how do you apply the pressure or how do you develop a level of stiffness again it's a lot of plyometrics and i think it's not i know it is talked about people talk about plyos it's like when do you do plyos how long should you do plyos um, I always think about it in this aspect. If I want my athletes to run fast, we have to be doing something fast. You know, let's just say every month, if we're using month, 12 months out of the year, they have to be doing something fast every month. And you can narrow that down. You're like, wait a minute, every month? Well, then if they're developed enough, then we do it every week, at least one or two days. There's a lot of athletes that I've been around that are great athletes underdeveloped that, but they could only, I mean, I didn't mean to say underdeveloped, they're developed and they can only sprint fast once a week. And once a week, that is a, say a Tuesday. That's when I usually do my fast days, um, a Tuesday. And when the Tuesday comes around, they usually, um, are pumped up about it because we do fast stuff. And then after that, you know, plyometrics is what I usually stick to with, this particular athlete and it develops I can't say I've failed and but I've definitely made mistakes but they develop a level of stiffness and as the season goes on you know if you're in track season they just get better and they their times come down and and they they get obviously when anytime they PR they get excited so acceleration is one of these things that again where we discuss it there's a lot of videos out on how to push and different athletes are pushing, especially when you looked at the, the NFL combine that just passed. There's tons of coaches and tons of videos um, if you're scouring through YouTube. But no one really talks enough about the leg and muscle stiffness you need to apply pressure to be able to move your body at this angle. That's what's important. Moving your body at an angle where you're comfortable with. A lot of times athletes try to say, or coaches, and I've said it before, you know, lean, put your head down. I, I remember starting with that and they pretty much tucked their chin and then it was shoulders forward and then they would lean over too far and then land in front of their hip. And now they're 
braking, applying braking forces, which isn't acceleration. But the leg stiffness, muscle stiffness, as you develop, you know, you can start this young. If you watch um, the Masai Mara jump, um, Chade will find a video and put it up. But, you know, there's a level of stiffness. Yes, those athletes or those, those Masai Mara, they're light. So, and what do they do? And honestly, I don't know to develop that stiffness. You could just say it's good genes, but either way, I don't have that type of bounce, especially being a lot bigger like I am now. But back when, you know, I was an athlete, you know, playing sports, jumping and grabbing the rim, you know, I understood at least a level where I have to apply more force being five, nine and being able to touch the rim was a big deal for me. And I, and I knew that I had to develop some stiffness. Now I didn't call it stiffness back then, but it was something that I was looking to develop. And that's again, acceleration life is how do we get out the blocks? How do we start at this thing? And honestly, from gear one to two in life, from gear one to two in sprinting, we all need guidance and we need understanding to be able to get off and so we can reach our top end speed or our true potential. So kind of made this video to kind of back thing to slow things down is to talk about, you know, why do we accelerate and we accelerate to build momentum and we accelerate in life to build momentum. Once you have that momentum, you keep rolling with it if you have good technique. And let's use technique on the conscious side. As you develop good habits, your technique will be better. So hope this all made sense. Just making a short video about, you know, acceleration. I want to I want people to understand that we keep saying the same things over and over. You know, you just have to accelerate, you know, toe drag, all this stuff, you know, but truthfully, we need to understand what muscle and leg stiffness is. Um, let's just say muscle stiffness and be able to apply force because collapsing out of the start, collapsing when it comes to your, you know, your life or not getting off to a hard, hard, good um, start, it, it will affect you in the long run. So peace out, YouTube. Hopefully this all made sense. And I know it made sense to somebody. Hey, folks, uh, thank you for watching. Um, like, comment subscribe oh yeah hit that bell you know so you can know more about um swift sundays